about 1.30. Sorry, Elliot, what'd you say? Oh, doesn't know whether to focus on the bars of the bird. Yeah, Pete's tore everything out of the garage. Yikes, there's stuff everywhere. Look at all those bird cages. He would have considerably more room if I got rid of those bird cages, don't you think? <sighs> Should have like a bird cage sale. All his stuff that he's got. If I zoom, maybe it'll come in a little clearer. All his stuff that he's got in there is nicely packed and organized. And he's trying to pack and organize the rest of it right now. Bird cages. I told him to leave toward the front, and I try and get them out of here. So hopefully that will work. There's that little stool we got for Leland. Just needed some screws tightened, and then he can sit on that to eat. Because we have a little table for him, but he outgrew the chair. So anyway, that's what's going on now at the moment. And there's Clo. Clo says. Do not, I repeat, do not point that thing at me. So we don't like no cameras. I gotta change the batteries anyway, because the red, red battery thing is there. So, okay, guys, I will see you later. Bye. Hi guys, this is lunch—a big fat old ribeye steak that Pete um, did on the grill. Lots of fat, and then um, roasted whipped parsnips with full fat sour cream and butter and that is steaming up my lens it looks like <laughs> everything else is good it's a beautiful day outside it's supposed to be in the low 70s um, still got all the extra furniture still haven't done the sunroom beautiful sunshine Pete's cleaning out the garage rearranging the garage actually and um, we're about to eat so I started at 8.30 working today, so I get off at 4.30, so that'll be cool. A longer evening. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi, guys. We are leaving. It's about 5 after 5. I got off work at 4.30, and we're on our way to Cadillac. So just to get some groceries and, um, you know, our usual stuff we do in Cadillac. Possibly we could... Uh, eat something while we're there. We usually do. And um, I want to go to Aldi, Meyer, uh, Gordon's, not in that order. And that's it. So if anything interesting happens, I know this is old. Most of you guys have already been to all these places with us, but we'll see. Maybe I'll record a little anyway. It is a gorgeous day, low 70s, slightly breezy, bright sunshine, high clouds. So we got the windows open and Pete's driving because I have some things I want to mess with. Uh, trying to get my tablet. I brought that keyboard with it and I worked the first two times I hooked it up and now it won't work anymore. So I don't know why. Um, so I'm going to try and mess with it again and I just got a notice from the Amazon seller to please give them a review. Well, I would like to um, try one more time to see if it works because I don't like leaving a bad review. So I, if it doesn't, then I'll contact them privately and say I don't want to leave a bad review but I can't leave a good one for something that doesn't work. So. Let's see if we can work this out. <laughs> so, we're on our way, and I will see you guys later. Bye. We are at the Asian Buffet, which is where we always eat when we come to Cadillac, as you know. If I can record in there, I will, and if not, I'll see you at the next stop. Bye. Here's my dinner. I've got bourbon chicken, salmon, roasted chicken, chicken and bacon steak and onions, mushrooms, and some fish with bacon on it. I forgot to vlog that we went to Aldi. But well, you knew we would. 
we always do when we come to Cadillac. There's Maya that we're going, but Pico's on the other side, I guess. Which does make a lot more sense. Whoa. Okay, there went our groceries. <laughs> we haven't spent that much because we still are going to get a meat bundle from Marison, so mostly. And we can go to Bart's for produce. I'm mostly getting dairy and stuff like that. The one thing we did get, which we don't usually get, was um, for $39, what's that thing called? Dolly. Oh, a dolly. A flat dolly. A flat dolly, so we can carry the bird cages back and forth. Pete is going to build a ramp from the front door to the great spot. From the front door to the motorhome, so we can just dolly the birds back and forth because that carry in those cages is a pain. Also decreases the chance of the bottom falling out which is what happened. We were taking the birds in the bottom dropped off of one of the cages and thankfully it was just Phoebe because she can't fly and it scared her as much as it scared us so she just stayed put. Anyway, that was a warning that something could happen. So now we don't need it anymore because we've got a dolly. All right, we're going into Meyer now. Just a couple things in here and then we're going home. So I'll see you guys later. Bye. I love the produce department at Meyer. Look at all this stuff. Stuff you don't see anywhere else. They got all these cool squashes. Let me go back and show you. Of course, I got daikons. I use those a lot. I don't know what you do with that. It says zucchini-like texture. These are like zucchinis, it says, too. These are opal squash. But they're $2.29 a pound, so why not just get zucchini for half the price? Anyway, all this stuff. There's the celery root, which I bought once. I wasn't overly impressed. Not enough to pay their prices for it. They got so much good stuff here, yucca. I don't know what to do with it though. Radishes, pickle things, rhubarb, look at all this cool stuff. Turnips, I got parsnips this time. Rutabagas, every rutabagas are always too big. I think you call them Swedes across the pond. They're tough when they're that big. There's some leeks and all kinds of goodies. Pete went to use a men's room, so I'm just wandering. All kinds of greens. Some of those are pretty enough you could make arrangements out of them. I bought some radicchio once and forgot to use it. Anyway, they have lots of good stuff. Tons. That's only one of all these displays. There's like probably a dozen or more displays. Okay, that's enough of Myers. This place is huge. Enormous. As far as it goes over that way, it also goes back. It's that was originally called Meyer Thrifty Acres when the store first opened. And, um, because it was a five acre store. But I don't know if it's still that case that way. Gourmet. Versatile and delicious. Okay, Rocky, I'm going to try some of this. Let's see what we think. Okay, that's it. I will, this is what I got so far. I'll see you guys later. Now we're at Walmart. It's supposed to be in the 90s the next few days, so we want to get an air conditioner, but we'll want to get one of those portable ones, not the kind that you have to put in the window, because neither Pete nor I are up for installing it. Um, they had an 8,000 BTU in, uh, at Meyer. Hang on, I'm going to turn this around. 
Okay, they had an 8,000 BTU at Meyer. They do have an ABC warehouse here in this plaza, the shopping plaza here, but those people are vultures. I just don't even like going in that place because the salesmen all descend on you and start picking the meat off your bones, so we just don't go there. <laughs> even though they might have one, but it's supposed to be up to 90 tomorrow and in the 90s this weekend. I need a fair one I can easily tolerate that heat. So we're back at Meyer. Walmart didn't have any. And even though the 8,000 BTU is made, see, I have to think, because it's made for 300, well, co cover, 340 square feet. Our whole house is 980. So that's just a tad over a third of the house. And I think the living room, dining room area is about a third of the house. Because otherwise we have a utility room, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. At any rate, I think it will be close enough. And with the addition of a fan to help it along, you know, if it needs it, then we should be good. Curtains closed and all that stuff. We also have our bedroom air conditioner, which is way too big for that tiny bedroom, like a 12 by 10 bedroom or something, very small. I think it is 12 by 10. So it's possible if we close up the entire house and have both of those running, we might get, because uh, the bedroom one will take care of the bedroom in the hall with no problem. Okay, so Pete just went in, and uh, he's going to get the 8,000, because I have a feeling tomorrow when it's 90, we're going to wish we had something. Uh, Pharaoh has an appointment tomorrow at 9 for blood work for his kidneys again, and to do a radiograph of his chest again, because he's been coughing more, and he has also been... Uh, swelling up again not like it was not even nearly but he's been swelling and uncomfortable so I called today and got an appointment for him tomorrow morning he's not in distress or anything but just want to get him checked out and see if things are getting better or worse or the same all right guys I'm gonna stop talking and I will see you guys all later when we get home. No, you know what? I'm not going to do a haul, hauls or anything. I hurt too much. When I get home, I'm just going to take pain pills and go to bed. So, I will see you guys tomorrow, Friday. Yay for Friday. And um, I hope you guys are all having a great week. I did watch a few videos today. I got a chance toward the end of the day to watch a few. And tomorrow, my whole plan is to watch videos and that's it. So, yay for that. I will, you know, in between bug calls. So I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Take care. God bless and good night.